came across this trail one day while I was hiking out of high banks just by accident. I was on the overlooked trail heading back from the wetlands, and I seen it and decided to follow it. And I will share with you what the naturalist told me about this trail. Um, but before I go into that, I'll tell you how you can find it. I'm, since I don't remember exactly where I found it on the overlook trail, I'll tell you where to find it at the other end where I came out. If you go on the Dripping Rock Trail and heading back towards the Adena Mound, as you're heading back there, on your right side you're going to see a bench. Right by that bench you're going to notice in the woods there's a little trail there. It might be overgrown a little bit, but you can still see it. Go in from there, and that will take you, as you follow that, that will take you over to the um, Overlook Trail. Now, what the naturalist told me is, before they built the current trail, Overlook Trail, the way it is today, she said that the Adena Mound, that trail you actually used to uh, continue on over into where what is now the Overlook Trail on over into the wetlands and so forth. So it, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's still passable. It's not maintained, so it's a little overgrown. You will do a couple bridge crossings. What's left of the bridges, as you'll see on this video. I didn't record the whole trail, but it gives you a little idea on this video what it looks like. Uh, there's actually a bench out there still, too, which is pretty good shape compared to the actual bridges. Um, so this has been quite a few years ago, but it's it's really cool. It's just an old trail that used to be part of the trail system. Uh, she was telling me that if you actually went back and looked at some of the old high bank trail maps, um, this trail is actually still on that map. So check it out. Like I say, just go back to the Dina Mound, look for a little bench, follow that little trail off from behind the bench, and you're there.